Jose, first of all, it's obviously been a, a slightly quick turnaround from Monday's game to this weekend. Um, how was the atmosphere among the squad after that draw at Villa Park on Monday? Disappointing. Um, frustrated, but uh, we know that uh, not every game is going to go our way. Um, like the manager said, we, we wasn't as sharp as we would like to up front. And um, at least we managed to get a point and we keep, we keep, uh, we keep the unbeaten run going. A lot of teams wouldn't be that disappointed to go to a place like Villa Park midweek and, and take a point. Is that a, a mark of how far this squad's come now that you are disappointed to come away from a game like that? Well, um, yeah, you, 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 have to, you have to understand that we're not uh, a mid-table club anymore. Um, we're, fighting, we're fighting to be better and better. We're fighting to be in the top of, uh, of the table. <clears throat> and we have to be disappointed because um, once you accept defeat or you accept a, a draw, you know, it's, it's not very good. So we need to be disappointed and um, next time we need to try and, um, and be more ruthless. One of the things I guess you will be pleased about is, is something that you've shown in a couple of away games this season of, of never giving up really. There's that never say die spirit among the squad as we've seen, I think, at uh, Aston Villa and a couple, uh, sorry, Arsenal a couple of other games this season. You as a captain must be quite pleased with that. Yeah, above all, we have belief. You know, uh, although we went one goal down, we still we kept our, our, our composure. We, we know that we can score and we can um, uh, create chances. So we kept, we kept cool. We went to the half time disappointed, yeah, but you know, fully aware that we could we could come back and win the game. And um, above all, yeah, like I said, we have a lot of confidence and belief in uh, our our capacities and in what we do. So we we was never nervous or anxious. As much as you say you were disappointed to come away with with just the one point, was that quite important to keep that unbeaten run going, especially ahead of the games you've got coming up? To say we've been unbeaten for such a long time of now. Of course, you know it's massive. Um, we we are all aware of the hard games that we have, the tough games. But you know, it's always important to, like you said, keep the unbeaten run going and uh, going into these games with another point in the bag, which is which is good. So we look forward to the next uh, next game, which is uh, Sunday against Man City, and uh, we we will not uh, think about the, the next ones because we need to focus on this one now. Starting with Manchester City then, a lot of people are, are looking at this game and perhaps those ones afterwards saying that this is the, the first real test of this Southampton side. As a group of players, is that an opinion you share or are you just taking it as you would any other game? I don't really understand why people say it's, it's the test or it's not the test. You still have to go and beat the other teams. Um, for example, the, if, the, if Man City or if Liverpool or Tottenham don't beat the mid-table teams or the, you know, the, the, the bottom of the table teams, you know, they, they can't win the title, they can't fight for nothing. So you still have to beat them, you still have to show up and, and win your games. You know, every game in the Premier League is hard. I don't really understand why people say that it's our first test. You know, we have to play everyone. It happened to be this way. We, we, we haven't played um, many, many big teams. We, but we've played Liverpool, Tottenham, and uh, we showed that uh, we were unlucky in those games not to win the games, basically. So we're going to go into this game these games that we have now full of confidence because we believe in ourselves and um, even if we don't win it's no no it's nothing um, that should concern us a lot because we we know we can win the next one given those results against Liverpool and Tottenham you mentioned which were probably harsh results is it quite an exciting occasion to go into this one quite a, a good opportunity for you, to, for you as a squad to show just how good you are yeah that's what we're going to try and do win win the game um, we know that we're playing a very very tough opponent the champions in, in the champions of England, and um, we know that they have great players. It's just uh, even more exciting to to play uh, to play these games, you know. So we look into it like a very big challenge for us, and um, hopefully we can demonstrate why we're in the position that we are. The manager said before his press conference last week, I think, that he spoke to you as a, as a squad and said you've achieved a lot during your first 11 or 12 games, but you also achieved a lot during that same period last season and winter was difficult. Was that a, a period that you don't look back on with much fondness in terms of that run of games you had sort of over the December, November period? Uh, it's a period that we, we've looked into it last week. We've analysed uh, how many points we had and what we did wrong and, um, and that's what we're going to try and ratify this year. We have nine game, eight games now until the 1st of January so 
we're going to try and uh, add more points for sure than last year. Um, but like I said, we need to focus on on Sunday. You know, we, you cannot think about the games after after Sunday. We need to focus on Sunday, get the points on Sunday. Manchester City as a team then, um, everybody looks at Aguero. Obviously, he's going to be the, the big challenge for you as defenders. Is it a, a challenge that you're looking forward to to come up against him? Yeah, it's a big challenge. Um, he's on form, he's scoring goals, he's uh, a top, top player. Uh, we respect him, but we respect all the all, all of the other players that City has, which which are amazing. Um, you can you cannot only look to to Aguero because after if you look to Aguero, the other one, uh, Jovetic or Yaya Toure or Navas will score. So we need to focus on uh, on everyone and um, as a team, we need to defend well as a team and we don't we don't really focus on individuals. Although we are aware that uh, Aguero is uh, on top top form. If they like to repeat uh, the title, they have to win and, and that's the pressure what used to be by big clubs.